All right, today we're going to be learning about something called basic essay structure. And I've put this tutorial together to help you to understand it. Whenever I teach students about basic essay structure, I like to start out with a visual. So you have an introduction that funnels your reader into a container called the body paragraphs. And then the reader exits through the conclusion that's a little bit like a drain and a reverse of the introduction. If you flip this image on its side, and you change up the colors a little bit, it kind of looks like a Tootsie Roll. So I like to use that visual as well to help students remember what basic essay structure is. In the introduction of an essay, you usually have a paragraph. Sometimes if you write a really long paper, it could be more than one paragraph, but for the purposes of an eighth grader, you can look at it as a paragraph. The first priority is to get the reader's attention, and you can do that through some type of a hook. I know you've learned about different hooks in the past. You can ask an interesting question. You can tell a brief anecdote. Uh, you can use a shocking quote or a statistic. There are a bunch of other types of hooks that a writer could use as well. It provides necessary background information, like the title of the text that you're working with, as well as the author. And it ends with the essay focus or thesis. We'll be learning more about thesis statements in the future, but basically this is like the topic sentence of your essay. The introduction ends with that sentence. So here's a model of an introduction. As you read through this, can you see where it gets the reader's attention, provides necessary background information, and ends with the essay focus or thesis? Take a second to look over this model and see if you can identify the parts. For the body paragraphs, you have multiple paragraphs that support and explain the focus. Choose a number of body paragraphs that fit the topic and your purpose. Often you'll hear teachers talk about the number three, three body paragraphs, and that is appropriate at times, but sometimes it is also fitting to use other numbers of body paragraphs. You're going to be using claim evidence and reasoning, CER, that you learned back in module one. You'll be using that in each of the body paragraphs. You'll be using basic paragraph structure to write each paragraph in the body. Notice that the introduction does not follow basic paragraph structure and neither does the conclusion. You're also going to use transitions within and between paragraphs to create coherence. Here's a model of body paragraph number one. Can you find where it uses claim evidence and reasoning, basic paragraph structure, and transitions? Again, take a few moments to look at this and see if you can identify the parts. Can you identify the parts in body paragraph number two? And one final time, can you identify the parts in body paragraph number three? Finally, we have the conclusion. And like the intro, this is usually a paragraph. Again, if you write a really long paper, like let's say a 10 page paper, it can be more than a paragraph. But for the purposes of an eighth grader, usually a paragraph is plenty. The first goal of a conclusion is to summarize and show connections between the main ideas in the body paragraphs. Show how the main ideas in those paragraphs are related. In the conclusion, this is the ideal time to do this. 
It restates the focus or thesis of the essay. It mirrors the thesis of the essay. There's a statement right after that summary that you write a, a sentence that mirrors the thesis statement. And then you close the essay, essay by drawing a conclusion or calling the reader to action. Here's a model of a conclusion paragraph. Can you see where it summarizes and shows connections between the main ideas and the body paragraphs? Can you identify where it restates the thesis of the essay? And finally, can you identify where it closes the essay by drawing a conclusion or calling the reader to action? Take a few seconds to look at this and see if you can identify the parts. Right after this video, you're going to be able to click on another Jamboard that presents you with a basic essay structure anchor chart. This is a good summary of the information provided in this tutorial. This is the end of the basic essay structure tutorial. I hope you learned a lot about writing essays and you can use your knowledge in the near future. Thank you.